all of the mess ups out of the way. If you are tuned in to another video, I know it says that we had lives waiting. Um, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of time to, to jump on to this video and let's see what happens. So, welcome to our first YouTube Live. We've been doing this a million times on Facebook. It does get a little nerve wracking when you change the, um, the venue, I guess you would call it. All right, so my name is Rhonda Draculis. I'm with RK3 Designs and welcome to our YouTube channel. So guys, I hope you can hear me. I hope everything is coming in loud yeah, and clear. Yeah, everything sounds good. All right, cool. Uh, give me thumbs up. Also, let me know where you guys are joining us from. I love to hear. I'm, I'm overwhelmed when um, I see where everybody is joining us from. So I do have moderators tonight and I so appreciate them. Clara, Erica from Artist Till Death and Vamp. So guys, give them um, a big thumbs up because they're gonna really help us out tonight. All right, so the finish that we're gonna do, literally, I figured it out about 30 minutes ago with some leftover resin. Uh, I just threw something on the, on the canvas and I was like, wow, I really like this. So this is gonna be the second time that I've done this in the last hour. So we're gonna see how it turns out. All right, so I've mixed up my stone coat countertop epoxy, one to one, and I've done three ounces per square foot. That's what we use most of the time. I am going to split this up. I'm gonna split up and black. I'm gonna have a cup of clear, and then I'm gonna tilt a tent the epoxy that uh, is left over in the cup. I'm gonna tint it white. All right, so who all's joining us out there? I can't see anything. Can't see else. yet, okay. So guys, uh, my moderators will answer questions um, as they come up. We may not be able to see them until the live is over because I don't have a monitor in front of me. Um, so bear with us. We will answer your questions uh, maybe after the, after the live though. All right, so I'm tinting what's in my cup very opaque and I'm using the Alumalite dye. Then we're gonna come over and we're going to tint, I think I grabbed the wrong jar. Probably did. We're gonna tint this cup. I did. Dad gummit. May have to <laughs> may have to run need? around the corner. I need the black opaque dye. Sorry guys. The one that I grabbed is empty. Alright. So as we waste some time. Alright guys, so don't forget. Let me know where you're joining us from. Let me know if this is the first live that you've ever joined us also. Uh, that would be really cool to see too. And then also let me know, do you like being on YouTube better than Facebook? I think I'm going to like it once I figure out all the bugs because for one, everybody says you can watch it on TV instead of your uh, device and also they'll be saved forever and ever and ever and you'll be able to go watch them anytime. I know that we lose um, a lot of our live videos after several months on Facebook because they, they take them off. So my handy dandy helper here. Everybody say hi to Kenny. What's up guys? He's pulling up the back end. Hey, can you grab me those paper towels? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having him get all kind of stuff. All right. So we have white, black, and clear. And he's going to kill me because I need one more thing. <laughs> but I'm actually going to get it. So talk to them. I'm going to get a, go grab me a brush real quick. Sorry, guys. You're supposed to be talking. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> so I'm just holding the camera here. 
letting them uh, discuss maybe what colors you might want to see tonight. What's yeah. up, guys? Yeah, so we're going to do black and white, which is always in style. But then we're going to be adding some colors. So, all right, got my handy-dandy brush here. Make sure you de-shed it. All right, so what we're going to do first, I'm going to come in with my white. And I'm just going to randomly put it down. All over the board. Let it sit there. Then I'm going to come in with the black. And I'm going to fill in the dead space. Is that better focus, guys? Somebody said that it was out of focus. It may be our streaming. We have kind of slow internet here, so that might be an issue. We had it worked out with Facebook, but we may have to do some tweaking on YouTube. So there's three dots. YouTube. There's three dots. So this, let's see. I'm scared to touch anything. There's three dots on the screen. Hold on. You just keep on going. Okay, I'm just going to keep on going. All right. That's my cue to be quiet. All right, so now we have clear. Same thing. I'm going to come in and fill in the um, empty space. Now, people ask me, why do you always put clear in there? And the reason is, is because that clear is going to give me some depth in my piece. All right, so let me torch it just a little bit. Okay, so here we go. You can do this with a brush. You can do this with a Bondo spreader. Uh, you could probably even get away with doing it with your hand if you wanted to. All right, so I prime my brush so I'm not coming in with a dry brush and then pulling everything off. All right, so I'm going to just cross hatch to begin with. I don't want to over meld my piece. Get my edges a little bit because I got the queen of the edge, king of the edges videoing. So the reason I do like to use my brush on this instead of the bundle spreader, I kind of like the design that the brush is giving me with the uh, bristles. I kind of like that. And I'm not touching every single piece. Some of the the areas I'm going to leave unmelded. So I have big chunks of color that I haven't touched. You just have to make sure that you're covering your board and that you don't have any areas that aren't covered. No um, surface tension. But you have to be also super careful with this that you don't get it muddy. Because with this finish, you could easily get it muddy. If you wanted to have more white, not so much contrast with your black, just add less black. All right, so we're going to torch that out. I don't want to use a lot of heat on this because it's going to cause it to move too much. Now I can kind of come back with my finger, tap if I see any spots, surface tension spots. All your front edge. My front edge, I, he's telling me my whole front edge needs to be tapped out here. All right. Okay, so I'm going to let that sit for just a minute. Let it already start to kind of get some fighting going on here. Now, if you use a lot of the colors uh, or the products 
from Artist Till Death, uh, Erica's products, you'll get a lot of really cool cells because you're mixing these products over the top of each other. And just on its own, it's going to create a really cool finish. All right, so I like that. All right, so now comes the fun part. I'm going to get white spray paint. And I'm going to add a little black spray paint, too. I'm just going to start spraying. But I'm not going to fog like we usually do. I'm actually going to come in here with a design. You call that a design? This is a design. Okay. Are you questioning my artistic ability, That doesn't Kenny? look like, well, I guess it, you could call this it. This is a design. A random design? A random design. All right. I might even go a little more random design and add a little more paint. There you go. What do you think? I'm just a mad scientist tonight. All right, back to the brush. Now we're going to cross hatch again. A little bit, not a whole lot. And again, some of these areas, I'm not even hitting with the brush. So look at all this fun stuff that it's doing. Lots of fun. I'm going to come back in here with a little bit of the leftover black. Looks like I know what I'm doing, but I am making this crap up as we go. All right. Now comes fun part, y'all. Blue, Crater Lake Blue mica powder mixed in isopropyl alcohol. So we mixed about a half a bag, which is a quarter ounce, to eight ounces of isopropyl alcohol, 91% or higher. Let's see what happens. I'm going to do the Italian drip to get me a For little... Erica. Erica, to get a little bit of the bigger drops in there and then I'm going to come over you know what I'm going to come over with some gold how about that let's do some gold the blue is gorgeous I haven't used my gold in a while I'm kind of puffing out some oh this isn't gold this is brown hold on now we got some gold but look at the blue holy moly Hold on, let me. And that blue's pretty. Look at this. I love this right here, what the spray paint is doing. All right, now I'm going to add in a little bit of the. The blue, y'all want me to, I'm going to do the, the Italian drip on here. All right, so we're going to come with the Italian. I'm just going to do gold on one side. That way, guys, you can see what it looks like with no gold on there. All right, so this is the gold. And I'm going to come on this side over here with silver. All right, so the key to this, guys, is very little alcohol. You get too much alcohol, you're going to make it really, really, really runny. All right, that's cool. All right, so let's let that alcohol dissipate a little bit. Now, if you get some areas that you have maybe a little bit too much of a colored mica, you can always come in with your clear. Your clear is going to kind of act like an eraser. And it'll take that gold or whatever color and it'll open it up a little bit and you won't have as much color on the surface.
All right, so I love that webbing. So there's so much detail in this. All right, so let me, where is it? All right, so I know everything. Let me see. I'm going to kind of help this along. I'm not spraying, doing the heat directly on the surface. I'm just going to go over the top, help that dissipate. I'm not pointing it down. I'm pointing it to the side. All right, now let's tilt it a little bit. Let's get a little bit of movement going in here. I don't want to tilt it fast. If I tilt it fast, I'm really going to get some of those long fingers looking designs and I don't want that. Let's go back on this end. Hey, this thing's kind of heavy. Let's see here. Mm, it's not moving too much. All right. Okay, I really like, I don't, I'm not real high on the gold. I like the gold. You like the gold? Well, that's because mm -hmm. I don't like it. Yeah, for so, sure. Perfect. perfect. We're still a perfect couple, Kenny. Yep. All right. So, this I love. Looks really cool. I think I'm going to add, a, look at this right here. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, wee, that's pretty. I yeah, think like I'm going to add. Through there. Yeah, it's almost like a little window. All right, so I'm going to come back and I'm going to add some color to some of these areas where it's gotten a little dark. So I'm going to come back and add some spray paint. And let's do this again. Who knows what will happen? You know what? I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to mix it in. I'm just going to leave it like that and hit, hit it with some, let's do blue. I'm gonna hit it with some alcohol. Oh, that's pretty. This way you have a little bit more contrast. Then over here. So this I didn't, I didn't um, meld with my brush. I just kind of did the, the design with the paint can. I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle. There we go. All right. So it looks like I'm really squeezing the alcohol bottle a lot, but I literally am barely even squeezing that, that handle. All right, that looks really cool. So what do y'all like so far? Do you like this side or do you like the softer side? Let me know. A or B, that's even easier. A is the side that's very, very contrasting. B is the softer side. So let me know. So if I had a little more white, let me see if I do. I'm going to run, I love running little surface veins across the top. I may not have any left. A lot can, of people like B. Like B? Yeah, me too. I think that's my favorite. So we can run, well, I thought I had left enough in there, but obviously I did not. Run a few little surface fractures over the top. I said scoop it from the table. From the table. Is it falling off the front? Mm-hmm, a little bit. Is it? Okay, so I can scoop any... here, but it's all going to be dark. It's not going to be white. Well, let's see what it looks like. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a good idea, whoever said that. Let me get some from the front. There we go. Oh yeah, those are pretty, the little dark veins. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Fix my little drips over here. 
All right. So if I were doing this and it wasn't a live, what I would do is let my epoxy set up in the bucket for a good 20 minutes or so, so that it really starts to thicken up. Then when you pour it out, it's not gonna wanna move quite as much. So that's pretty. So what do y'all wanna do? Give me some ideas. Y'all wanna fog with a different color? You wanna try to run a vein through it maybe? Uh, give me some ideas. What do y'all wanna do? What if we did this side in black? Since we have this in white, what if we fractured this side in black? What do y'all think? Yeah. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, we had a lagoon, we said yes. Yes to the black? They're saying lagoon. Lagoon to the what? Yes, black lightly. I'm just trying to read okay. all the more all blue, right. copper, more, more yes blue. to the black. Okay. What if we do black with think. teal? I don't know if I want to do teal since I already have blue. What if I do black spray paint and I come over it with a little bit more blue mm -hmm. alcohol? And then we decide if we're gonna do some kind of veining. How about that? We'll do that. Kay. All right, so let's try that. All right, so I'm gonna come back over here and I'm going to fog with the black. And I'm not gonna do crazy amount of black. I'm just gonna do, some of them I'm gonna do dark. Some areas I'm gonna do dark. Mainly because my stupid spray can's not wanting to work. All right. <laughs> that's, Truth a, be, that's a good reason. Truth be known, because my spray can's not cooperating. Put more big drops. Put more big drops? Okay. More big drops. All right. Yeah, I like the way that looks. Everybody ought to go see Erica do the Italian drip. She's marvelous at it. <laughs> She's amazing. All right. Okay, we'll let that sit just a minute. Let's get some blue, and we're going to run some veins. All right. We'll do this blue, a royal blue, and a brilliant blue. All right. So I want to again kind of get that alcohol to help dissipate it. All right, so what that did when I fogged it with the black, it actually came over here and it turned all the gray webbing that I had, I mean the white webbing, it turned it to gray. So that's kind of cool. All right, so let's do some veining. All right, so I'm coming in here with, uh, what is this, royal blue. So let's see, let's, I'm just going to kind of draw me a vein first to see kind of where I want to go with this. Then let's see, let's, there. All right, can y'all see that? I have tapped out a little bit too much there. All right, so let's just start building on that color. I'm not a huge fan of veins. I don't know why. But everybody likes them, so I guess I need to learn how to get better at it, don't I? All right. Now, if I were doing this for a job, I would be waiting probably another 15 or 20 minutes and let my epoxy really start to set just a little bit more. All right, so the key to doing these veins, guys, is to really work that paint into the epoxy. You really want to kind of push, push that color down into, into there. All right, I'm going to come in now. That was a royal blue. I'm going to come in with, what is this one, brilliant blue. It's going to be brilliant, I tell you, brilliant. 
All right, so this is just a little bit brighter. So I'm just going to kind of drag it through some of the areas. And you don't have to drag it through the whole thing. Cool, I kind of like how this splits right there. All right, now I'm going to come in with some black. There we go. Ooh-wee, look at that. I like that. I like how that black really. And even the gold, see how the gold's popping through here? This is that mica powder that I had. I went over one of the mica powder cells. And look how that gold's pulling up. Oh, there it goes again. It's on your stick. I must have had it on my stick, yeah. I guess I did. I got it from this little pile. All right. So I like that. So they said put a little white and then blow with the heat gun. Okay. Let me go set up my heat gun real quick. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'll put a little bit of white in here. Who said that? I don't like the – they go away after – a second on this camera so I can't tell who's doing what I'm just trying to keep up with them um... keep up with <laughs> all right okay so we added a little bit of white all right so let me go grab the heat gun real quick like Ooh, look at look what it's doing over here isn't that pretty See if I can squeeze by here without touching. All righty, here we go. Yeah, but it's hard for me to hold the gimbal and squirrel, scroll, and I'm scared to touch something that I'll disconnect the feed, so. Yeah, so he's got a gimbal, guys. He's got a whole big old concoction thing set up here. He's not just holding my phone. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna open this vein up a little bit. So I'm going to come straight over the top. And, I, and by doing that, what it's going to do to that vein is it's going to really soften it out and open it up. Wait, thank you. there now see I really like coming over the top with that heat gun because it opens it up and it makes it look so natural almost like you can kind of see through that vein y'all like that yeah it's kind of cool okay so let's do something on this side how about we do um, how do I do a gold vein through here? Yeah. That would be pretty. Let's see what gold I have. All right, so I don't have any gold except right now in front of me except for this metallic paint. Now the thing about using the metallic paint that's got a shiny top is that that metallic is going to float on top of the epoxy. It's not on the other side it, of the cart? No, it, I would need a, a paste or something. Oh. Um, so we're not going to get that same depth that we get with the regular spray paint. So I think what I'm going to do is run through with some black first to kind of make, make the vein have some depth. Then I'm going to come back with this. So let's do... I don't have any epoxy left, do I? How dare I? Let me see if I have anything in here. 
All right, so I have a little bit of clear. I'm going to come in here with some clear first, and I'm going to kind of set my vein. Eh, there wasn't really enough to do anything there. Yeah, there's not enough there. All right, so I'm going to come in with some black. And let's run our vein up there. And then we'll, we'll kind of break it off here. How about that? All right. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring in the black. Again, we're going to really make sure that we work that down into the epoxy. And it's starting to gel up, and that's where I like it to be, because I know my vein is now not going to really run a whole lot. It's going to have a tendency to kind of stay where I want it. What if we make it a little bigger, a little wider? Let's make it a little wider. Let's get a little crazy with this black vein. Let's make this the let's make this vein more of a focal point vein. I just spray that all over me. So by doing that, we're gonna work it a little wider. Make this be a little bit wider vein. And then we'll kind of come off in a small little kicker right here. All right, how about that? That's a little better. Give us a little more to kind of play with. All right. Now let's add just a tiny bit of white just to kind of break up some of this black that's in there. You're using regular epoxy, right? Yes, this is just the regular epoxy. Uh huh. All right, so now let's play with the gold. I'm going to put this gold down, and I'm going to let it kind of sit for just a minute. I'm going to actually mix it with just a tiny bit of resin that I have over here that's clear. All right, so now notice how this is sitting on the top. No matter what I do, I'm not going to be able to push this metallic paint down into the epoxy like the other colors. It's going to want to just hang out on the top, which is cool too. As long as you know that's what it's going to do, and you expect that, it's okay. It's when you don't know how it reacts that it can get you in trouble. All right, that's really pretty. Let's add, what do y'all think? I think I ought to add like one little strip of blue or no? I think if we add a little bit of blue, just a tiny bit of blue. It'll make it pop a little bit. Yeah. All right. All right, let's open that up. Now, I want to be really careful. I love this design out here. I don't want the heat gun to touch that. I don't want to disturb that. So I'm again, I'm coming straight over the top. And as that vein starts to open up, I just move right down the vein. And depending on how wide I want that vein to be, determines how fast I go. Now guys, if you get your epoxy too hot, 
you're going to lose control and it'll become very fluid and you'll lose control of that vein. So if it's not turning out the way you want to at first, back off, let the resin cool down and then go back. I'm going to really open this vein up right here yeah, a bunch. Yeah, it looks good. I'm going to open it up a lot. Now remember, I'm getting a little hot, so I'm going to wait. If you get it too hot, what will happen? It'll, it'll flow back into itself because you're creating almost like a void here. If your heat gun is too hot or set too high, uh, it'll push the resin away, away and then because it's hot, it's going to come back together. So if you really want it wide, do it a little bit at a time and let it cool back down. So what do y'all think about that? That's kind of cool. And I like that we didn't mess up our other side. All right, well that was kind of fun, guys. <laughs> Completely did not know what to expect because like I said, I literally was playing with this right before the live started. The reddish I think you're seeing is the gold. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, there's no red in it. It might no, just, it's just be gold. You think maybe it's reflecting from my shirt? Mm, no. It looks kind of red from like over here. It looks a little red, but it's the gold. Yeah. All right, so that's fun. But like I said, the longer you let this epoxy kind of set up before you start doing all of your fracturing with the alcohol, the, the more distinct your pattern is going to stay. If you mix up your epoxy, dump it on the top like I did, and immediately start spraying like I did because we're on a live, it's going to move a lot more than if we were able to take our time. Um, honestly, if I were doing this for a countertop, what I would do is, first of all, I'd let the epoxy set up in the bucket for 15 minutes or so. Uh, then I would take it out, mix my colors. Then I would meld it or pour it out on the board like we did. Then I would meld it, torch it just a little bit, and then I would leave it alone for a good 15 or 20 minutes. Then I would come back with the spray paint and the alcohol. That way you're really starting to gel everything up and it's not going to move as much. Guys, this, this piece right here looks like a dadgum piece of granite slab right here. This is gorgeous. And those tiny little micro fracture veins that we put in earlier look amazing. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Kenny, you want to maybe come show them these little tiny fractures? Look at those little tiny, tiny, I don't know if y'all can see them. See those little tiny fracture lines? Those were created from the drip. From the drips that we ran across there. That's why I love doing that because as this thing continues to set, it they just look so real to me when you do that. All right. So I am loving this. I am this is really a lot of fun. I love these colors. I wasn't really happy with the gold when we first put the gold on there, but I do like how the gold is kind of playing in the background, especially like over here. That's pretty. All right, guys. So what you think? Tell me if you like it or not. And um, thumbs up. Thumbs up. Awesome. Okay. So lots of fun. Okay, so a few announcements. I'm so excited to be over on YouTube now. Um, this way, uh, all of our videos are going to be saved. So excited. And uh, thank you again for my moderators. I appreciate y'all so much. You have no idea how much I appreciate y'all. And Erica and them know <laughs> how nervous I was to do this tonight. I have no idea why I was nervous. Um, I mean, I've done a million lives. I think it was the fact that it was just on YouTube and I didn't know what to expect. Um, all right, so our new website is up and in full bloom. It is getting it. 
Um, I'm really enjoying being able to track where you guys are coming in from and viewing and keep my analytics and all that good stuff. So I'm super excited about that. Um, we do, we are running a special right now. Uh, use coupon code B O O one five. That's going to give you 15% off anything on the website until the end of October. Uh, so don't forget that guys sign up for our newsletter on our website, RK three designs.com to get exclusive promo codes that I don't give to anybody else. Um, so be sure to go do that. Also, we'll have specials throughout the year, contests and all that fun stuff. So I guess that's it, guys. Welcome. Thank you for coming to the first YouTube Live. I appreciate it. And I guess until next week, we will see you on the what? We'll see you on the Facebook. <laughs> I do post a lot on Facebook, guys. So um, check out my Facebook page as well. All right, guys, love you. I will talk to you next week. All right, see ya. Bye. Adios.